Hey guys, how's it going? I am Genevieve, welcome back to another video. So because it is officially the spooky season, it's time to get into some Halloween makeup. So today I've decided I'm gonna be recreating a few looks from the group Sidemen. So if you don't know who the Sidemen are, they are a group of YouTubers in the UK. And I think they've been around since around 2014, so they're, you know, pretty OG. They all have their own individual channels, which I will link below, along with their group channel, which is the Sidemen. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first look I'm going to be recreating is based off Simon and Vic. So both of these looks here are obviously skulls. Uh, but I think I'm going to be doing one a little bit more like Simon's, just because his one's just a little more advanced. Sorry Vic, but I mean, it's no credit to Simon because if you look at the photo in his bio, it says credit to Talia, so props to her. But anyway, we're going to be recreating these looks, which essentially is just a skeleton. Also, if you can hear the rain in the background, I apologize. I, I, I can't control the weather. I also don't know why I did a full face of makeup because I was gonna put foundation on so the paint would be easier to take off and then, you know, beauty just kind of took over. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do to start, because Vix is, you know, a little bit more uh, beginner friendly, I guess. <laughs> That's not the words I was looking for. I think I'm gonna make this more grungy because Simon's is very, like, particular, well-placed, everything. So, I th But I want to try and incorporate both looks because it is, I did sign the Eden's um, Halloween looks, not a pick and choose. So I wanted to keep my wig on, but I think this might be <laughs> hindering more than helping. Uh, but now that I officially look like Barbie from the 70s, um, what we're going to do is be taking my white water activated paint and a sea sponge, preferably cream paints would actually be better for this because obviously when you put water and like try and layer it up, uh, water activates water paint, so it might smudge, but I'm gonna try and do our best with the water paint that we have. So I'm just gonna wet sponge a little bit, put it in the white paint. Oh, that was a lot of it. I'm just gonna speckle it like that. And I'm gonna be doing this with the white and gray. Um, and then I'm in my shadow areas, that's the word I was looking for, I'm gonna be putting in a bit of black. So the only reason I wanted to keep this wig on is because Simon is blonde, but it, it, it's really not, it's really not helping me out. <laughs> For those who saw my last video, by the way, this is how the dye turned out that I threw on at the end of my video. Anyway, now it's time for some detail work. So like every normal skeleton, we're going to fill in the eyes. That's why I left my makeup on, because we're going to fill it all in anyway. And I also just include my eyebrows when drawing these circles because one, you can make your eye sockets as big as you want to because they're pretty much that big anyway. And two, it's just so much easier than trying to block out your eyebrows, especially if you have dark hair like me. Taking your pointy little brush, um, we're going to mark out the teeth, but just to make it that little bit more spooky, we're going to be taking a packing brush and a black eyeshadow. Um, and we're going to be... I keep saying um. I'm making this up on the spot, as you can tell. I... <laughs> As the paint is drying, you're gonna be putting some black eyeshadow over it and it just helps blend it. I'll show you what I mean. Paint blown, black eyeshadow. And just dust it out. Also wait until your face is dry to do this, otherwise you're just gonna end up blending all of this underneath. And we're just gonna continue that with the teeth. Okay, so I just went ahead and pegged my eyes off camera because literally all I did was take the sponge and the water activated paint and filled my eyes and then set it with black eyeshadow. Um, so finally we're just going to add some more detail lines, so maybe some like forehead creases in here, eye socket shadows around here, you know just pretty much putting little detail lines wherever you want and they don't have to be uh, perfectly symmetrical. I generally make mine like around the same places just because like see I've got one there that I don't have one there but I feel like one needs to be over there because I'm a very even person. And then finally just taking a little detail brush and painting in a nice little nose. I think that's done for the skeletons. Um, in the photo Vic's just wearing like a black t-shirt and Simon's wearing one of those skeleton costumes. I don't have a full skeleton costume but I have like the remains of one from when I did my Corpse Bride uh, makeup. So let's see if we can try and make that work. This actually worked out pretty cute. I mean, it's like, it's definitely way shorter than my body, but you work with what you have. All right, so the next makeup look we have after that is from Bazinga or Ethan Payne. 
it looks like this. To be fair to him, he had Vic and Josh doing his makeup. So I feel like I should have some sort of handicap, but at the same time, I kind of want to do this look well. So I'm thinking that I could only use my monitor now. You know what, we'll go with that. I feel like that's enough of a handicap. First thing I'm doing first is just adding a light layer of foundation, just because it helps to create a barrier between your skin and the paint. So if you're using, you know, like bright orange paints and things like that, doesn't stain your skin. And then same thing as before, water activated paint, nice sponge, just a normal sponge this time. Um, and we're just all over the face. Also the less water you use, the more opaque it'll be. So if you just wet your sponge and then just dab it a bit to actually get the water into the paint, it'll come off a lot more opaque. Okay, from what I can see on my phone screen, I am sufficiently orange now. Um, I've also left these parts uh, not painted because that's where we're gonna put the black for the eyes. I actually want to do the jack o lantern like pumpkin lines first so then we can put the eyes over top of that. So I've got a white eyeliner but you can use a black eyeliner. You're just going to sort of start from the middle-ish and sort of bring them around like that. This is really hard to do without a mirror. And what we're going to do with these lines is we're going to take an orange shadow and blend it out quite a bit throughout that area and then some brown a little bit more concentrated and then some black just right in the middle and then we can put like a black stripe or whatever it's just to show those indentation pumpkin lines you see what i mean all right from what i can see from my little monitor here i think that's pretty pretty blended also, if you're looking at me going, that looks utter shit. Trust the process. I've got this. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna go kind of round and up. Kind of like a point, like a, like a Spider-Man point. Or like Venom, you know? Once again, over the eyebrows because it's easier than trying to block them out. And then you lips. This one's pretty much just like a squiggly, crooked smile. So then you can just trail it off like this and, you know, make all these sort of squiggly lines and marks and things gives it a bit more character. I also drag it down my neck a little bit just because I think it looks better than having that like mask. Um, and I'm going to add some black eyeshadow just around the perimeters of uh, the eyes just to smoke them out a little bit more. Jack-o-lanterns also don't typically have noses either but my nose is looking very orange right now so I think I'm gonna add one. So that is all for the makeup and there is a completely optional step which I think, I think I have to do. So in that video, Ethan spray paints his hair orange. <laughs> And I've had these since last Halloween and I've never used them, so. Okay, that was not worth it. All right, so other than that, here's the makeup. Okay, so I've just gone and washed my hair out from that monstrosity. Okay, so for the final look, we're gonna be recreating the clown faces from the Sidemen hide and seek video um, where they were at a amusement park I think was the thing. Here are the reference photos here we're going to be using KSI and Simon again so obviously you can see that they are clowns so I'm going to be combining both elements from each one just to create one look so I'm going to be taking the blue from Simon's mouth to do my lips the green from KSI's side to do my eyes and then I might add in that red Pennywise sort of thing and then, you know, just accessorize a bit. I'm having trouble with English today. But first things first, white base. All right, and then taking a blue water activated paint on just a little pointy brush like this, I'm going to go over my lips and my eyebrows. I don't know if I want to do some sort of big fancy smile. Like JJ just had his lips pull it in, but Simon had this big like, oh. maybe. So once I do it, I can't really go back unless I take it off, so... Mm, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so... Okay, so I used a light blue for the inside of my lips and then filled it out with a darker blue and then used the dark blue for my eyebrows as well. Also, if you came here thinking you were going to get some sort of sexy recreation of these makeup looks, I'm so sorry, but this is way more fun. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking these two greens onto my eyes. I'm going to be putting the dark green onto my crease and blending that out and then putting the light green all over my lid. And then finally, red paint, Pennywise lines. I 
And this is all for the makeup. You can add lashes and all that sort of stuff, but honestly, I think this actually looks pretty good. Obviously, I didn't drag down my neck because clowns generally do just have their face painted white. But, onto the montage. You know what? I take back what I said. This kind of did turn out a little bit sexy. Anyway, guys, that is all for me today, recreating the Sidemen's Halloween looks. Josh, Toby, and Harry, get on those Halloween looks. I couldn't find any for you guys. Simon, you're killing the game. Keep it up. If you like this type of video, make sure to like it, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you get a notification every single time that I post a new video. Anyway, guys, that is all for me. Peace.